Thanks, Jason. Um, my name is John Sharp. I'm the founder of Hatcher Plus. Uh, we started in Singapore as a traditional venture firm, um, Hatcher, back in 2013. Um, to date, we've made about 134, we've invested in about 134 companies. Um, if you could put up the slides, please, thanks. Um, so basically what we've decided to do is take information such as the information that uh, Jason provides and, uh, and use that to build funds and to build very large, very scalable um, funds. And by the way, we were investor number, uh, subscriber number one, I, I believe. Uh, it's a fabulous service and, and we'd certainly highly recommend it. Um, next slide, please. So I wanted to talk briefly about uh, four trends that we see going on in the world at the moment. And uh, one of the trends that we see is a couple of very large players, in fact, three really that I'd name, Tiger Global, SoftBank, and Andreas and Horowitz, have decided that they're going to embark on seed to IPO strategies. And once upon a time, we would introduce each other at, uh, at conferences, and I'd say I'm a seed investor, and someone else would say I'm a Series A investor. And it's our belief that that's kind of going away and that we're going to see a lot more money pouring into these seed to IPO approaches. And these are going to take the form of data-driven mega portfolios. At a certain size, you can't build a portfolio manually anymore. So the technology that Hatcher has developed is technology that enables you to build very, very large portfolios of, of venture-backed um, companies. The other two uh, things I'd quickly point out here is that uh, we're using AI-based deal scouting to enable investors to find deals, to find companies that they wish to invest in, and ones that um, are likely to be things that they, they would want to invest in based on their history. And uh, obviously what we're talking about with, with Tiger and with SoftBank and with Andreas, and there's really a grab for pro rata rights. That's how we see it. Um, we believe a lot of these guys are going to create uh, large stakes in early stage companies, maybe even pre-seed companies, and then go on and continue to invest in those and build a large scale portfolio. Um, next slide, please. And we believe that the really the companies that get this right, that have sufficient capital, like Tiger's putting a billion dollars here, Andreas is putting 400 million. Uh, we believe that if you combine that level of capital with AI-powered deal scouting and filtering, uh, with a global network of, of, um, of deal origination um, folks, and with business process automation, you can get a lot done. And we think that that, that group or groups, that we think they're going to pretty much own this industry um, if this trend continues. Um, just a, a quick couple of uh, words on what we, um, what we do with our technology. If you go to the next slide, please. Um, the data-driven mega portfolios is something that we started talking about three years ago. Uh, we've explored it, or we've uh, researched about 600,000 deals um, globally uh, over the course of uh, spanning 20 years. And we've built some portfolios on those that are, are really well understood by us. And we believe that investing in a large-scale portfolio just simply drives better returns. You capture more unicorns, you capture more power curve effects. Next slide, please. Um, we also believe very strongly in the seed to IPO strategy. If you look here, these are the returns um, based on isolated by stage. And you can see very clearly that the early rounds offer spectacular returns. And this is quite in contrast to what a lot of investors believe that they think they should invest in later stage rounds because you know, the returns are as good and less risky. It's not true. If you invest in the first four rounds of a company, you're going to get better returns. And that's, I think, by the way, something that all of us invest in. <clears throat> Pardon me, AI-powered deal scouting. Um, this is something that we've spent an enormous amount of money developing. We've raised about $13 million in the last three years in venture capital ourselves as a venture capital firm. And we've put that into developing very sophisticated tools that other venture capitalists can use to filter their deal flow and decide what they want to invest in. Uh, last slide, please. And finally, I just want to talk about the pro rata rights waterfall that I mentioned just a couple of slides back. What we see happening out there is, is a scenario whereby groups like us, like Hatcher, will create very, very large scale portfolios and then hand the pro rata rights for investment to the investors in that fund. And so this is something that we are actively looking to enable. It's our way of doing a seed to Syria to IPO strategy, but enabling the investors in our funds to participate in the later rounds where they can put a lot of money to work. Thank you.